Hello everybody, this is Mr. Ainsworth. We're going to get into drill number 10 here and we're going to find the equation of the line again like we did in drill number 9, but we're going to do it a different method here. We're going to use the point slope form. And point slope form, well you guys know what I mean. I'm talking about y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. In fact, you know what, let me uh, highlight this whole thing. What we're going to do is we're going to substitute our point in here into x1, y1. And we're going to substitute our slope in for m here. So again, x1 comma y1 is our point that we choose. All right, and m refers to our slope, so we're going to have to calculate the slope as well. All right, I can use either point, and I could, but I got to find the slope first. All right, so let's go ahead and go for it. In fact, you know what? Let's draw the upward arrow here. Let's label these x's and these y's, and recall that slope is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. That's our definition of slope as we know from previous drills back in drill number six. Drill number six. All right, so let's go for it. Let's take five minus nine and subtract the, those two and then take that and divide it by three minus two. All right, what do you get? Well, you get negative four divided by one and so the slope is negative four. Now all you have to do is take that and substitute it in here. I'm gonna choose, uh, I'm gonna use point A here now point A is 2 comma 9 and so this is x1 and this is y1 that's all it means first x coordinate and the second y or the y first y coordinate here and I'm going to take this and I'm going to substitute it in here and for x1 I'm going to put a 2 and in for y1 I'm going to substitute a 9 right here so I get y minus 9 equals slope which is negative 4 as we just calculated times the x minus x1 which is 2 here so all you do and from here, you isolate y. You distribute through the negative 4 as well. Okay? So we have y minus 9 is equal to negative 4 times x, all right, which is negative 4x. Negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8, so plus 8. Add the opposite here and here, and you're done. y is equal to negative 4x plus 17. When you get used to this point slope form method here, it's a lot better than the previous method and you make a lot less mistakes and it's easy to use after you get good at it. You'll see what I'm talking about. Most people agree with me, okay? And not only that, most teachers beyond Algebra 1 from Geometry on up use this method here over the other method. And, and that just goes ahead and uh, it tells you something. It's, it's easier, it's faster, you make less mistakes, models will get good at it. Alright, so here we go. Let's pause and play here. I want you to line up the uh, the x's and the y's here, it's already lined up, subtract up, and find the slope first, pause, and then uh, when you're done with this problem here, go ahead and press, press play, and review it, and make sure you're correct, and then we'll do one at a time. Alright, pause the video and go. Alright, let's find out how well you did on the slope. So let's take 4 minus 0 here, you always subtract using the y's first, 4 minus 0, divided by negative 2 minus 2. What does that give you? Well, let me see, 4 minus 0 is 4, negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4, that's negative 1, so my slope is negative 1. Okay, now, we are substituting in here, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Okay, that's called point slope form. I need to substitute in something for x1, y1, that's my point, and I need to put the slope in. There's my slope right here. I'm going to substitute that in right there. My point that I want to use, I'm going to use point A, which is 2 comma 0. I say you can use either point. You can use, uh, let's use either point. So remember that. I'm going to pick point A because it involves a 0 and it's typically easier to do that x1 is 2, so I need to put a 2 here, y1 is 0, I need to put a 0 here, and I go for it. Alright, so y minus 0 equals negative 1 times x minus the 2. x1 is 2. And yeah, I play y, and I get y equals, distribute here, distribute here, uh, negative 1x is negative x, negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 2, and you get y equals negative x plus 2. I mean, look how easy that is. I mean, this method is a whole lot easier than the other method. And I know you guys say, why do we have to learn two methods, okay? Uh, I understand that, but hey, this is easier, 
It's better to know two methods. You can use one method to back up the other one to check either on a quiz, a test, or a homework problem. All right, because either method gives you the same result. So if you do it two different ways and get the same result, you know you're right. It's a good way to check your work. Okay, so be open-minded, learn it, be good at it, work on your speed. All right, and continue. All right, starting with number three here, you got X is lined up, Y is lined up. You're all ready to start off with the slopes. Pause the video and go. All right, let's check your slope and everything. So we got seven minus one divided by one minus three. That's called the setup. Show that every time. You get six divided by negative two or negative three. So my slope's negative three. Okay, and then you have your point slope form. Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1. You gotta substitute in for your point and also for your slope. Okay, my slope is negative three and that goes right here. I'm gonna choose uh, one comma seven, point B. This is my X1, this is my Y1. All right, you can use either point. Uh, I'm going to substitute in, let me see, 1 in for x1, 7 in for y1, and go for it. And I have y minus 7 equals negative 3 times my x minus the 1. Okay, my now I have to distribute and isolate the y. So I get y minus 7 equals negative 3x plus 3 because negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3. And all I have to do is add 7 now, and I get y is equal to negative 3x plus 10. Simple. And there's the equation on the line. All right, two more to go. All right, the first thing we do, once again, is find the slope first. All right, pause the video, try number four. Okay, let's check your slope. So we have three minus six divided by one minus five. That's negative three divided by negative four, or three-fourths. So my slope is three-fourths. My point slope form, as I keep on saying, is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. All right, I'm going to use uh, the second point, point b, at 1 comma 3. x1 is 1, y1 is 3. So I need to put 1 here, a 3 here, and the slope of 3 fourths that goes here for the slope. So all you have is y minus 3 is equal to 3 fourths times x minus 1. And I distribute now twice. So let me clean that up here a little bit. Distribute here, distribute here. All right, so what do we have? Y minus 3 is equal to 3 fourths x minus 3 fourths times 1, or 3 fourths. I have to add the 3. And I get y is equal to 3 fourths x. 3 minus 3 fourths. 3 minus 3 fourths has to be under 3. It's got to be 2. And if you take out two, uh, 3 out of 4, then 1 out of 4 remain. So plus 2 and 1 fourth. And there's your equation. All right, no, not too bad. All right, find the slope and then substitute a point in the slope in into point slope form and you got it. All right, number 5. Okay, pause the video, get started on your slope. Okay, let's check your work. 8 minus 4 uh, divided by 4 minus 1. Just subtract every time, guys. We've done this for a couple weeks now. You should be getting good at it. You get 4 divided by 3, so the slope is 4 thirds. All right, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. I'm going to use the point A at 1 comma 4. All right, I know that x1 is 1, y1 is 4, so I've got to put a 1 here, a 4 here, and my slope, 4 thirds, I've got to put it in there for m. Well, so what do I get? I get y minus 4 is equal to 4 thirds times x minus 1. I've got to distribute like I always have done before, and I get y minus 4 is equal to 4 thirds x minus 4 thirds, because 4 thirds times 1 is 4 thirds. I have to add 4. And I get y is equal to 4 thirds x, and then I've got to figure this out. Now check this out. 4 thirds is 1 and a third. So I've got to take 4 minus that. 4 minus 1 minus a third. It's 3 minus 1 third is 2 and 2 thirds. 
All right, if you take out one part out of three, then two out of three remain. So what do I get? I get plus two and two-thirds here. All right, so you got to do your arithmetic on the side. And that's there. It's a little side work. All right, show your work, people. All right, and that's how it's done. That's drill number 10 here on slow uh, point slope form. Practice it two or three times. Work on understanding it, and then work on your speed, and you'll get really good. All right, see you in the next drill.